We're going to take a brief look at parallel approvals inside a PDM Professional Vault. This is an optional setting for workflow transitions when your processes require action from multiple team members. In our example today, we need the team lead and a member of the management team to both approve a change before the file can be promoted. I'll start by logging into my PDM Professional Vault as Team Lead Keith and browsing to a file that currently has a change pending approval. This file effectively needs two sign-offs to transition into the approved state. Keith is now ready to review the information on the data card, where the description, current state, most recent approvers, and last version comment are shown. He also has visibility of the project details for this document, and he can easily move over to the preview to refamiliarize himself with this PDF. Now, of course, before placing his stamp of approval on a file, he'd open it and examine it a bit more thoroughly. Once he is comfortable with the file content, Keith moves on with his duties. Using the right mouse button menu to transition the file out of its current change pending approval state. In the transition dialog, it's clear that he is not the only required user in this process. Keith adds a relevant comment for the file's audit trail and then an additional notification comment for the other teammates who will soon be involved. But before the team lead wraps up his end of the approval process, we'll take a moment here to review the file history which will show us all of the vault activities and who carried them out up until this point. We see that the system administrator has been very active and that many comments have been added to help us understand what the users needed to accomplish with each file version. So the vault is providing visibility of where the file is in the workflow, how far along it is in the process, and what has gone on every step of the way. I'll now switch roles as the baton is passed to the management team for their involvement. So logging out as Keith, we'll now move forward as Eric, the manager. This workflow example is set up to have a member from each group participate in this stage of the game. We have two managers who are eligible to approve a file, but only one is actually required. If we needed both, or say two out of three, we can adjust that requirement in our vault. For our purposes here, Eric leverages the file preview and the data card before taking action. In real life, he'll open the file and review with great detail. You can see in multiple places now that one of the two approvals is complete. Our manager Eric is happy with what he's seen and is both ready and willing to approve the file. He has his own comments to lend to the file history and to the notification that is tied to this approval. And this will seal the deal. We can also see down below there where Keith has done his due diligence as well. Please note in our general interface here that the file workflow status is updated, showing all of our Vault users who have visibility of this file that the approval process is complete. That second approval takes the file to the next revision and we can see the status change and the data card update here in the local vault view. We'll log out now as Eric and explore the approval process just a bit further as the other manager, Tim. Now, not being directly involved today, <laughs> as Eric represented the management group, Tim is on the receiving end of the notifications. Of course, messages can come through email if you have it set up that way in PDM Professional or through the default database messaging, which you can access right from your system tray. This message lets Tim know which document has changed state, who performed the approvals and when, and also provides visibility of the comments plus links to the vault information all from one spot. 
Tim has no action items, but he's completely in the loop. That concludes our overview of parallel approvals, and we appreciate your attention.